Welcome to the breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Q portable charger and its included case. Yes, the Q portable charger here uh, does come with a nice case here to also carry cables, wall chargers, all that and more in a portable little case like this. Q charger has a, cool, a couple cool features like attached cables and more that really helps make it stand out from its competition. So we're going to be taking a look at the pros and cons of this, what you need to know about the Q charger here and let you know my thoughts of it. Now, a few things right off the bat. This was not a review unit. I did buy this with my own money. Keep that in mind. 100% my own thoughts here. Also, uh, before we get into the review, if you could help us uh, dive into this, help us grow the channel. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. We would appreciate your support. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So hopefully they recommend our videos to more people. By hitting that subscribe button, by hitting that thumbs up, doing one or both, Let's YouTube know that you like what we're doing over here. And check out our over 400 videos just like this one on a wide range of products, services, quick tips of the day, and a whole lot more. So with that said, let's take a look at the case. Let's take a look at the battery, starting off with the case real quick. Now the case has a couple cool features. For one, there's a little compartment here where you can slide the battery in there and have it stored. And then it also has the ability to have a little pouch here that you can put wall chargers, cables, whatever you want into it, seal it up, zip it up, and now all your battery, your um, portable battery pack, your car, uh, chargers, cables, whatever it is that you packed in here are all nice and safe. Put that down real quick. Now let's take a look at the actual battery itself. So pretty nice, stylish little white battery here with gray trim around it. It's a very nice look to it with the Q logo on the front. Now a few things that make this stand off. You know, for one, right off the bat, has three different built-in cables, starting off with a micro USB here. Nice little cable here, so you don't have to worry about finding cables, packing the right cable. Has a uh, lightning cable here for your iPhone, iPad, etc. And then at the top, if I'm pulling from the right side, there we go, has a USB-C cable here, which I really like. And with most devices moving to USB-C, that's a really nice feature there. So a pretty nice um, setup here. But there's a really cool killer feature here, and that's a built-in plug. So you just plug this in, and then it's charging the battery, but it also works as a wall charger. You do have a standard USB here at the bottom that you can pull from this as it charges and plugged in, with, which is pretty nice. There's also a, um, a micro USB here to charge. Let's say that this um, flip plug, for whatever reason, doesn't fit into wherever you're trying to plug it, the power strip or whatever. You can always use another wall charger and a USB uh, uh, micro USB cable, excuse me, going in here. Really one of my very few complaints about this is I wish this was a USB-C in and out, but I understand, you know, with this coming with the USB-C cable, no reason to put a USB-C port on it. You know, so keep that in mind. Now, let me put that back in there. Come on, there we go. Now it does have on the front here, four lights. See right now, it is at about half charge and all four lights mean it's fully charged. Uh, three lights, 75%, two lights about 50%, 25%, and no lights as it's almost dead. So a pretty nice feature. Now the thing that I really like about this is the built-in three cables. But let me test a few battery parks like this. One of the main complaints about battery packs, right, is you have to have the right cable. And you get these long cables um, out there, you try to wrap around it, whatever, it's not the nicest feature in the world. And having these built-in cables is really nice. Now the downside is it does mean, for example, these cables aren't that long. You kind of have to hold the battery pack and you have to kind of hold the device together with it. And it's about the size of my Pixel 6 Pro to give you an idea of its size. But I think the benefit to have that there to be like, hey, I got um, a wall charger or battery pack here, wall charger and cables all built into one device. I don't have to remember to pack a wall charger for my battery pack. I don't have to remember to pack another uh, wall charger to charge my phones at night or charge the battery pack. Pretty cool little feature here. Having the cables, you know, I can charge my iPad, I can charge my earbuds, I can charge my Android or iPhone. All in one little battery pack with the cable supplied. So it's a pretty nice little one here. Now this is a 10,000 milliamp battery, which kind of means you're probably gonna get anywhere from one and a half to or and up charges depending on the size of your phone. If you have a Pixel 6 Pro or iPhone 13 Max, you're probably gonna be closer to one, one and a half of charges off this battery pack. 
If you have a wireless earbuds, you can get multiple charges. iPad, you're probably closer to one or so charges. This is a really nice battery pack for, hey, I'm traveling, I wanna make sure I have a little bit of battery power to get me through it. This isn't like, hey, I'm camping and my entire week I'm gonna power my phone off of this battery pack. This is more of a, hey, I traveled, I charged my phone once or twice off of this, and then I plug this in at night to recharge it to use it the next day. If you're like me and you, when you travel, you're using your phone a lot to watch videos, listen to audio, do work, having a battery pack like this is a nice feature. Not have to worry about the cables is a really nice one. So how does this compare to other battery packs in the market? Uh, well, the battery pack um, performance is very consistent with what I've got from other devices. I was very happy with it compared to other brands. The real selling point here, because honestly, 10,000 milliamps isn't a killer large size battery. The real sell point here is the built-in USB cables and the built-in wall charger here, so you can charge it on your go without needing to think about what you're uh, packing to bring with you. Past that, pretty nice little battery pack, not a lot to say beyond that. In my charging, it did adequately charge my phone, my tablets, and more, testing with a Pixel 6 Pro and an iPad. So very, very happy with that ability. So keep that in mind. Again, larger, newer phones, they can Pixel 6 Pro, iPhone uh, 13 Max, get about one to one and a half charges. Older, smaller phones, you get multiple charges. Uh, tablets, probably one charge. And with my ability to charge wireless earbuds and other devices, many, many charges from those smaller devices. So keep that in mind. Two thumbs up, does what it says it's gonna do, does it well. If you'd like to find this on Amazon, I will put a link to it down in the show notes down below. You can find it there for current pricing. Or if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'll love to hear from you. We'll answer the ones that we can. So with that said, do us a favor. Help us grow this channel. Help us hit that 10,000 mark. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So until next time, thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. We'll be back real soon with another video.